Fun fact. I'm about to get interrupted here in a bit by uh, one of my little cousins delivering me tea. <clears throat> you good? Or just for the sake of having tea? Well, no, it's like a thing. My Like since last year, then when we all got Rona, my uncle started making this tea and he just hasn't stopped. So we all drink this tea every night type of thing. Mm. But as of re- recently, uh, as of like sometime last week, uh, he's been joking about it for a while. He'll be like, oh, one of these days, I'm going to ask you for some weed, to throw it in there, blah, blah, blah. He keeps joking about it. And I've just been here chilling because, like, I'm not working and stuff. He made so, like, some weed tea? Is that what? What's going so, on? Well, no, because it's it's this tea that he he has, like, a, a whole mess of, like, different, like, herbs straight from Mexico that he mixes into this giant concoction. So, uh, the other day he was joking about it again. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. So, I went in, in here and I have, like, some, like, uh, outdoor grown, like, organic stuff that uh, we got from Kel's boss. Mm-hmm. And, uh... I took a bit of that and like a tiny little nug of like the good shit, and I took it out there on a little napkin. Now it's just like here you go, and, he's, and, and I thought they were gonna be like, oh no no, no we're just kidding, blah, blah, blah. we're just kidding, blah, blah. no, they took it and they fucking put it in there, bro. <laughs> so my whole household drank it, my mom included, everyone liked it, everyone loved the tea. And it's been like a few days now that we'll be chilling. I'll be chilling here playing games in my room. And around the time that the tea usually happens. Hey, you I'll, got some weed? I'll, I'll, <laughs> you know, yeah, like straight up, I'll get a little do, 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 a little knock on my door. And my uncle will stop stick his head in and be like, hey, everything's ready for the tea. We're just missing the special ingredient. <laughs> I'm just like, I mean, what? So like, bro, my whole household is on fucking weed tea every night now. <laughs> That is hilarious, bro. It's the fucking greatest thing ever. Cause like I, unprompted now, he'll like pull up and be like, <clears throat> "Hey, yo, it's time for the tea. Uh, I, I don't have all the stuff I need though, like type of thing." You know what I mean? That's like, fucking hilarious. Instead of being like straight up, like, yeah, "Hey, yo," yeah, yeah. I'll be like, hey, so uh, I'm making the tea. I don't know if you wanna, like, bro. So yeah, bro. My whole That's... household is now on uh, the weed tea. That's fucking hilarious. They're throwing a bit of weed into their, their their concoction of Gordo Lobo, and I don't know what other kind of weird herbs they got mixed up in there. Oh, I love Gordo Lobo. That's just, it's good for you. It is good for you. So, I'm going to be sipping on that along with my beer tonight. going to be double fisting. Does it give you a buzz? I or is mean, it just like a calming, like? I think I feel something off of it, but I'm also like constantly smoking and adding to my high. So I don't know if it uh, just like if it just like exacerbates and like you know stimulates my high already. Yeah. Or or if it actually does something. Have they, they told you anything? Yeah, they, they claim that they sleep a lot better and that they get like a little like calmer and just like mm, like zen type <laughs> of thing. They, I don't know if they're if they're like super placeboed out and just like that's what they want it to happen so that's what that's what they feel but like mm. they claim to say that they, that they like hella mellows them out and that they like sleep like fucking babies ever since so like they love that shit now after all the fucking years after, after all, all the, the shit, shit <clears throat> that's fucking hilarious so that's uh that's 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 our intro anecdote for the week is my family is now on weed tea <laughs> As we say goodbye to Halo 3, we are back to another episode. This is the Pod Boys Advanced Podcast. It's a weekly discussion where we go over the latest in gaming. Did I fuck that up somehow? What? No, I don't think so. I think I said back to another episode instead of back for another episode. You want to start over? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no, wait.
Start over. Let's do that. No, no, it's too far gone now. It's too far no, gone. No, no, no. I'm starting over. As we say goodbye to Halo 3, we are back with another episode. This is the Pod Boys Advanced Podcast. It's a weekly discussion where we go over the latest in gaming and throw in a little bit of wherever else we want to talk about. Where we correct our mistakes, we do not shy away from them. <laughs> okay. My name is Oscar. I'm joined as always by my co host uh, and best just... friend. <laughs> Master Chief, what's up? The dude? Master Chief himself. <laughs> oh yeah, the Master Chief. Oh, oh my, that no is uh, one can mess mess with me. me. You know, no that, one th- to that. That's for that one person that is going to listen to. That, it's going to be like, what? Shout out my children, <laughs> my bride, for that fucking banger of that a is life a banger. Time. Called Headshot by My Children, My Bride. You are welcome. Yeah, dude. How are you this week, sir? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Chilling. Chilling. Chilling, living life. You know, you know how it goes. You know how it be. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm like still super chilling. I don't start work for another two weeks. So I've been, I, it's my turn to be knee deep in games, sir. Nice. I have a Monday off. There you go. For MLK. So nice 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 you got a nice three day coming up yep 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 dope 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 what you drinking tonight though man tonight i am drinking something someone ass getting laid tonight what <laughs> you remember <laughs> I, grandma's book? I do remember <laughs> i was like wait well, where did that because why said, did that it's because you said tonight like oh very separate so it made me like it made, tonight you said tonight so it made me think of someone ass getting laid <laughs> tonight what's his name dr dr shockaloo dr shockaloo oh, yeah. how can you forget uh anyways today <laughs> I'm drinking. Uh, in honor of Dr. Shakalu, uh, I'm drinking, which this makes sense. This is an Italian beer. Um, Italian Pilsner uh, Salvatore from Delahunt Brewing in San Clemente. Oh, there you go. So, somewhat local. It's got like this little, little I drove through little, there recently. Little scenery. So, yeah, it's pretty. It's a, it's a regular Pilsner, it's just beer. So we'll see what this is like. What are you drinking? I am holding this upside down because it is labeled upside down. All of them were, so I think it's a thing. Um, it is brewed right here, locally in Anaheim, California. You can probably tell by the colors what's going on here by mm-hmm. Brewery X, the official Anaheim Ducks fan beer, Quack IPA, Quack. <laughs> Quack, quack, <laughs> quack, quack. Uh, I along with that, beer tea. I've also got my handy, handy dandy weed tea, which you learned all about in the intro. Yes. So, I actually did some work for that brewery before it was even built. What? Is that why still... you were? Is that why you were smiling as you saw? Yeah, I knew right away. Where is um, it? I'm a little salty towards them, so oh, I, I'm I kind of. Oh, no, no, no! You should, you it's, should have warned me. I wouldn't good, have supported them. No, no, no! I, I, you got, you got, no, no! Is there beef? <clears throat> if there's beef, there's beef, dog. There, uh, there's a little bit of beef. A little bit of beef. Uh, did not enjoy my time working for them. Beef boys. Yeah, beef boys. Uh, are but we, are, uh, we, are we, we going to get a story here? Or? No, no, no. Just, uh, you don't worry. You, just you know, going to leave it at that. You have a new. You work in a whole different like industry now. You, you, you have. You can speak out now. I mean, I guess you're right. Anyways, when we were working there, it was a shit job. Um, they didn't like really respect their contract. So. We were supposed to do a lot, a lot of work for them inside of the brewery, mm-hmm. and at like the last minute, they wanted to cheap out, and they got a different company oh. to do some of their construction work. So, yeah, um, that was that kind of hit a sour spot, and also I kind of know what the building looked like before, and I'm just like. 
I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Mm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, there you go. Eric Erky has beef with this brewery. I'm about to I'm about to drink. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care, but I'm just like, mm, where, I, is it? I where is it at? It's actually, you know where Camelot is? Is that 3191 East Lapa? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that is by Camelot. Yeah, it's literally across the street from Camelot. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Never gonna go there. Yeah, I, Fuck I that place. personally we're gonna go to we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to the to the brewer the brewery that place is the great brewery, the that brewery. place is actually really great no i like that place a lot we need to go back mm-hmm. soon no sir you have oh, i you still haven't even, been to the fancy one that you there's a about. fancy one yes that, i that know they, we have, yeah we've, we've talked about the fancy one yep. all right you ready right. to camp well, up yep let's go ready three two mm-hmm. one. Oh, that okay i can't For a second, I thought the goblin was back. So did I, because I had to turn this thing upside down. Ah, scary. But we're good. All right. Cheers, sir. Cheers, sir. Okay. Oh. It's pretty good. How's that taste? Quacky? I want to, well, while you uh, make, Ugh. while you make bitter faces. It tastes like. <laughs> you good? No, I'm not drinking that. Oh, no? No. What's it taste like, dude? It tastes like an IPA that was burnt. What? It tastes burnt. Burnt? Burnt is the only way I can describe it. Okay. <laughs> I wish you were here so you could try it. Because I can't. it's disgusting. Burnt? It that, burnt. Is, that, is, that is strange. It tastes like an IPA, like toasted to the point that it has been burnt. That's interesting. It's, just, it's gross. What How? the fuck, Duck fans? <laughs> hey, Duck fans, you good? <laughs> I don't think they are, dude. If they got burnt IPA. <laughs> I'm gonna wash that down with some of the tea, oh, bro. That shit man. is gnarly. Mine is actually really good. I'm jealous. Well, fucking <clears throat> wh- whoop de doo, Basil. It says, uh, an homage to the crisp lords and admiration for the dank universe. It's a it's dry... Amish? <laughs> <laughs> no, you an homage. Oh. An homage. Oh, an homage. <laughs> Not om- <laughs> this is this a weird one. This episode is off to a <laughs> wild start, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, oh hold on. Let me god. attempt let me attempt to read the rest of this. Salva- Salvatore is a dry hopped Italian style pilsner brewed with Sathur and Tetnang hops, giving it tasting <laughs> notes of Buddha's hand, rubby red grapefruit, aged setter, and fresh pine. What, what does the that fuck even mean? What does Buddha's hand <laughs> taste like? <laughs> It's like Buddha's hand. Okay. I, that's what it tastes. There's notes of Buddha's <laughs> no, hand. No, <laughs> I fucking know. I heard you, dog. Like, I'm not getting on you. Uh, oh. Well, cheers to <laughs> me, Cheers to you. Sir. Uh, tea cheers. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> what are you even, what have you been playing bro oh my god <laughs> i can't <laughs> i've been playing with buddha's hands <laughs> oh jeez <laughs> oh, playing with buddha's hands is the episode <laughs> he does it again <laughs> Egg, it's not a hat trick. <laughs> it's a hat trick. Three in a row, yeah. That's true. Okay. 
Um, so I have been. Um, Fuck the hat I, I went back. So very good. I went back to uh, to working full time, so I played a little bit less. Uh, I did raid though with the Ooh. homies, so we did some some vault. Did that? Well, that was gonna be my question: Is which raid <clears throat> vault it has to be vault? Still, no one you got yet. Yeah, we no one still learned any of the other ones nope. yet. Still, god nope. damn. I mean, no. Well, we did vault, and then we were gonna do the. We have done the Riven raid. No, well, yeah, I think I did that. So one you too. were with us for yeah, that. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last wish or whatever. Yeah, so we did that one in its in its entirety. Um, and we got close on another one. No. The yes. no 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 that was the same one that was the same one that was the same one that we finished yeah we did finish that one the river yeah but uh yeah the one like the crazy like jumping puzzle pl- thing with the platform dude that yeah, fuck that shit bro <clears throat> so I hear the so w- the way that we defeated Riven is actually actually a cheese oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I I I remember it you being... should. Yeah, if you're interested, look up the actual real way of defeating Riven. Riven, you will. It's Cry. stupid. It, it's stupid. Like, yeah. it's actually stupid. <laughs> um, so I played that. Uh, let's see, what else have I played? Pokemon. I've been playing Pokemon. Caught myself. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Heatran. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So I caught caught him. Explored that little island on the top right. So now I'm probably gonna go start making my my team 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 yeah my team team you gonna EV train you gonna go the whole nine I uh, maybe I think so I, yeah. I excuse me I feel like I have to because it's diamond and pearl yeah you know you owe feel, it you owe it to diamond and pearl I, I kind of I feel like I do you know mm-hmm. I agree at least just with like one full team. You know, mm-hmm. but yeah, and I actually also played some Tales. Fucking dope ass game, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm play. I did watch some of your stream. Um, which stream? The, the second first, one you did. The well, I watched to, to, the today of, or did you stream again today? Oh, I streamed today. That's why I asked. Oh, yeah. okay. No, I did. I didn't see it today. I saw the one from prior, a couple of days ago. Yeah, yeah. How far did you get? So you no, know, uh, I'm like running around like the snow area. Like I, I, ah, I see. Okay, I beat the giant wolf guy. Um, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm talking about? I do. The giant snow wolf. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm like I'm like a little bit past that. A little bit past so, the giant snow wolf. <clears throat> so I just I just got past that area. And I'm on to the did next you area. Finally, beat the second lord that you were stuck. On? I did. I had to. Um, I had to go back and train. If you got, if you got any tips for your boy, shoot. Because I'm, I'm approaching dude, that battle now. I, I, I think. It's, dude, what level are you at right now? I don't even fucking know. It's hard you to should keep check your track levels. Game, yeah. yeah, no, check your levels because I think I'm like 14, 15, something like he, that. He he's at level nineteen. Okay, yeah. It takes forever to level up. Oh yeah, it's it, it takes forever to level up, like forever to level up. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, get at least to level seventeen because that's at the level that I beat beat him, and get your whole party to level seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. else I get insta white. Oh, ex- you're gonna get smacked. Like I almost got smacked. Like I luckily stocked up on like the. Uh, I think they're called the uh, life the life orbs or life life bottle bottles yeah. yeah um i stocked up on those to like keep me alive but man it was so close bro but i'll say it like a million times until the i die the fucking combat in that game is so it's fun so great. it's so fucking fun bro so <clears throat> uh i'm gonna tell you something that kind of made my day uh it's not really a spoiler for the next area or anything, but um, when you get to the next area, you unlock a new mechanic in the game okay. that I feel is going to make this a lot easier and, well, to level up. So the new mechanic is after defeating a certain amount, so there's like, um, 
how do you like how do i say it um like a meter there that's what it is it's a meter uh no it's a meter that you build and there's like five levels five or six levels to this meter anyways the more bat consecutive battles you have the more the and the higher you bring your meter up the better chance there is like of encountering like rare enemies mm. so i tested it out and i was like okay i'm just gonna sit here and train because you know these enemies are kind of hard now so i'm gonna sit here and beat them till i'm like gain like another like five levels or something so i don't get my ass beat my, the next boss right and i'm sitting there like getting this gauge up and one of the special enemies comes in and it's a straight up boss, bro. And he just fucking smacks the shit and out of you. It just smacks the shit out of me. I mean, I, I I got it down to life bars. Took forever. And it after that, it just smacked me. So yeah, dude. There's a, a lot in this game. I feel like I'm still in the tutorial, even though I'm like at the third area. So it's crazy. I mean, it's a JRPG, bro. You get tutorials fucking 40 hours into some of these games, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I've been playing that and having a blast with that, too. So is that, is, that, is that all for you? That's it for me. What about you? I've been playing that. I pushed forward a bit more in Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm almost, nice, right, nice, nice, I'm nice. almost right at the end of that, actually. Nice. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish that soon. Great game. Great game. Uh Pushing forward some more in Horizon Zero Dawn, gearing up for, all for, right, for all right. West. So push, push the actually progress the story finally a bit. So it, it, is the guy in the fucking the, the guy that um talks to you in your in your ear, is he the fucking same voice as Zavala? I'm like, this is fucking Zavala. Like, yeah, yeah, it's Zavala. Being condescending and douchey to me right now. And I want to <laughs> fucking smack him. It's so great. Oh man, it's so great. Yeah, it's totally the same voice actor. Mm -hmm. That guy's yeah. awesome. That guy's dope. Yeah. So I've been playing that. Uh played a bit of Shin Megami Tensei 5. I I I I grinded and grinded and grinded and I beat the fucking first boss of the Tokyo Tower, which is a some fucking shit like right off the bat. Uh you will see once you start mm -hmm. your journey. Um and I also started uh, two indie games. Oh, on the cool! Switch that I copped uh, that I cop with. Uh, I got a couple different gift cards for Christmas that I hadn't used. So, uh, with one of them, I copped Death's Door. Oh, is that the one with the little? It's the crow. With crow. The sword. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's the it, so it's like it's like a mix of like a top-down Zelda with like uh like a soulsy type of thing with like the boss mm -hmm. battles and stuff like that and the dodge roll uh it's dope dude it's dope but it does get a little overwhelmingly difficult, difficult at, at some point like they start giving you like hordes and upon hordes on en of enemies and it just it, it gets it gets to be a lot you gotta like be fucking locked in and shit and like be perfect almost so it, it's dope but I, and, and I got a little bit up in there but it, it's hard and then the one that uh i'm actually like fucking like eight hours in almost 10 hours into but I f but now i feel like i've been tricked um it's ca it's called eastward it's the one that was featured in the last uh, indie world it's like the okay like one of those like it was like the pixel really cool like pixel art looking one that's like a like, like, a, like a little type of rpg so I mean, it's like a it's like a action rpg ish like type of zelda mix too um you get oh like, yeah, yeah 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 i remember it yeah yeah you, you, you're like this bearded guy named john and you like fight with a frying pan and there's a little like white-haired girl with you named sam who ends up having powers and shit like that but like uh the, the beginning is super dope like it, it, it's got like very earthboundy vibes in a way to me um but um not the combat at all but like just like the the story and like the the the, the characters and stuff like mm -hmm. that uh super dope but now like uh, i'm almost 10 hours in and i'm like a, a like chapter two or three of the game and like it's starting to like slow down and be like a talky like love story type of beat at the moment at, at the portion where i'm at so mm -hmm. i don't know if, it, if it's just like building <clears throat> tension and i'm gonna and it's gonna build up to me having to like rescue this 
girl that I'm getting a thing with or something, but like, okay, I don't know if I was cat faced and I'm now playing like one of those visual, like talking feelings games, you know what I mean? Oh no, yeah, so I'm like, oh no, <laughs> but I was having so much fun with it. I, I still am, it's a fun ass fucking game, but yeah, so that, that's pretty much been my week. I've been playing a lot of shit. I've also been uh, watching my cousins play Ratchet and Clank. I, I watched my cousin beat the Evil Within two. Like it, it's been a busy gaming household these past couple weeks here. Cool, 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 cool. But yeah, that's pretty much been my week, man. But we can start getting into some of these topic of Roonies because we've actually got a lot to go through here. We're gonna do like a semi rapid fire because. Okay. I, dude, I didn't even include. There was so much other stuff that happened and got announced, and so much stuff this week that felt like some some like E three shit. You know what I mean? But I picked some stuff that like I, I feel was the most relevant to us and that we wanted to talk about type of thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, the usual. Mm-hmm. Starting with, as I tease in the intro, Halo 3's Xbox three sixty servers are now turned off forever, Eric. So yeah, rip to the goat. Halo 3, the OG Halo 3 on Xbox 360. Servers are shut down, and we got a bunch of people sharing tributes and memes online, including the the one that you shared with me here, the best one. It's the the death meme. We've we've all seen it used for many things before, Mm -hmm. but it's it's death coming for Halo 3, saying it's time to go. Halo 3 asks, was I a good game? And death says, no. You were the best. You were the best. (laughs) Well, what do you think, man? The end of a fucking era, eh? For real. Oh, man. So many sleepovers <laughs> playing Halo 3. There's another tweet here that just has the fucking, ho- the, like, the menu, the main menu open, and it says crying in the Halo 3 menu, <laughs> which is pretty oh, fucking man. great, man. Like, ah, oh, honestly, like, one of like a milestone, a legendary moment in gaming, Halo Three, Halo in like the, the Bungie Halos as a whole. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's sad to see the server shut down. So I guess the people got to hop on the Master Chief Collection if they want to play that now. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. At least, uh, at least, at least, yeah. At least Halo Infinite is good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, moving on from that, Eric, we had a free-to-play battle royale for My Hero Academia announced. Uh, My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble announced for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. So uh, it was announced in the latest issue of uh, of Shonen Jump, the weekly jump. So mm-hmm. no release date yet, um, but yeah, man, uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm just interested to see what they do. Is this going to be a fighter? Is this going to be some kind of top-down shooter? Like, what are they trying to do here? Right? I like, don't understand. What is this? <laughs> like, is it a you know, battle? Is it a, an arena fighter battle royale? Like, I don't know. It's, you know what I mean? It's crazy. It sounds interesting, but, uh participation so they, they they are looking to hold the closed beta at some point uh details will be revealed via their official website they have a link to it here but it's currently not available not up as of now so mm. i guess uh we'll see what happens when they announce that but I, i'd give it a try in beta you know what i mean mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i would give it a try too you've been keeping Just, up with my hero i am letting it build up a bit you know, so, I, and I've also let, letting some binge build up. I've also started reading the manga. Oh, okay. So I, I want to catch up. Yeah, I'm letting the anime build up, and I want to catch up to the anime and the manga. I have my cousins like all like hounding me and like bugging me and like giving me lectures and like selling me, giving me pitches. On this fucking volleyball anime called Haikyuu. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, it's a no, 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 no
you don't understand. I don't. I don't laugh because of the premise. I laugh because I have actually been watching this. Bro, you too. So, all right. Let me let me tell you, my coworker. My co. Are you going? Uh, uh, okay, he's gone. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. IQ. IQ is the shit, dude. Tommy. Eric también me está diciendo que mira pinche IQ. Te dije que lo vieras, te dije. So uh, fucking angry. You too, bro. Let me tell you my take on this, dude. For just a quick little anecdote here. Uh, my coworker actually, it's like his favorite anime ever. And These guys are like fucking like over the moon. Like same with them. Like my one of them is just like it's the only anime I've ever watched twice. Like it's so good. Yeah. Like my and my old night dev night yeah. fucking dev night dev. He he's like my like the godfather of anime to me. Who got me into it? Like and like all, like you know like. I trust his opinion beyond all. And he hits me yesterday. They they could they bring him into it and he's just like, yes, high is great. It's it's like he says it's like slam dunk or super campeones, Captain Subasa, mm -hmm. which I love. <laughs> you know, I love me some Captain Subasa, and he's just like, and I'd even go as far as to say that it's better than all of those. I and I was like, the disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> for my boy Oliver. So let me just just let me tell you because I felt the exact same way you did when because I avoided it for so long, so so long. And then probably about uh a week ago when we came back to the office at work. <laughs> we're just sitting there we're just like at lunch like trying because we watch tv during our lunch we're like what are we gonna watch and he's like oh we should watch haiku and i was like ah, we're gonna watch this volleyball anime he's like dude just give it a chance it's really good and i was like uh all right all right we're gonna watch it Sh sure throw it on let's do it and he throws this on and i'm like just watching this and first episode i'm like all right sure and then next episode i'm like oh this is this is actually Okay, it's got a storyline going. Bro, I finished the first season. <laughs> <laughs> it gets good. Like, <clears throat> how can they make volleyball, like, interesting, so, bro? You know how in Captain Tsubasa, they have, like, special moves and yeah. stuff? And, okay, so it's, it's not really like that, hmm. where they're, like, super powered or anything like that. But um, this is, it's like I think real ass fucking just grounded volleyball. The thing is, like they make it. That sounds even fucking no, worse. No, 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 the the animations and just the like the story itself is actually really really good. Like so far, like I'm invested now, dude. I did not think I was gonna like this anime. I thought I was just like you, and I started watching it, and now I'm like. Okay, I guess it's kind of good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have to fucking that... watch this fucking volleyball show, dude. You should. I, I actually like. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. God damn it! Like, as far as animes go, uh, as far as sports animes go, I, I, I got, avoid them like the I, plague. I, I, me too, dude. I I I remember fucking being forced to like try and watch Prince of Tennis and see the little ones and. Fuck, man. That show is horrible. Prince of Tennis. You ever hear about that one? No, I have not. God, Prince of Tennis is so bad. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, dude. Haikyuu, uh, kind of good. But yeah. <laughs> we can move on now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Armored Core. T tell me, tell me, say those sweet, sweet words to me, sir. Armored 
What, a, what about armor yeah. corsair tell me tell what, me what, 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 Bring what, it. what would you like to hear when you when i say the words armored core what, what what would you like what would you like to follow new game well eric from soft might just be delivering because we got a bunch of leaked official screenshots behind the scenes from uh what appears to be a mech game in production at, from software, which and longtime fans recognize designs and shapes of certain robots and mechs and locations. So, this Eric seems to be leaked images of a new armored core. Let's go! I need a new mech game in my life, dude. You know what? Actually, I have a bo- I'll tell you the story later because I have a bone to pick with Bandai. <laughs> oh boy, okay. No. Um, go, I mean that that would be another tangent on the no, show. No, no, no. I mean, uh, fuck it. I'll just say it. I'm just going I ordered a, I ordered Jump Force and uh you didn't. I did. I ordered Jump Force and I ordered um the Gundam game with the what is it called? Uh Gundam versus Ultra Maxi Boost yeah. on or yeah. something like that. Um well, I ordered five remix. Yeah, something like that. Uh so I ordered that and uh I got my order and it only had jump force in it and I got charged for both games and I tried getting going to support and they still have not gotten back to me. Uh my ticket is still open with them. Uh I don't know if I'm going to get this game. Yo. Yeah, it's been some kind of like shit. I'm like, Bandai, I love you, but like, bro, like, get your shit bro, together, dude. Oh, that's scandalous. <clears throat> yeah. So, and then it, they just gave me a runaround, and I'm just like, so Bandai, At games Bandai are cool. Namco, get your shit together. Yeah. Like, your, your stuff is awesome. Like, your products are great, but get your fucking support together, man. Anyways, well, I'm sorry that that happened to you, bro. It's still ongoing, so <laughs> hopefully, f- Daddy from Software will deliver for you. After I hope so. I hope so. All right, moving on from that, Eric. Almost this is a doozy here. Almost more than a full month, actually, uh, out from launch. Uh, an early build of Horizon Forbidden West has leaked, and people are already playing it on hack ps4s crazy yikes a fucking roni what do you think about this man you're gonna go hack your ps4 to pop the sun no i am not going to do that why not hmm? why not i think it'd be cool what i think it'd be cool why not i don't to have like, a PS4 to like to hack it. it yeah hack your ps4 oh yeah why, why, why not maybe well, oh, actually, no, I can't. Down. No, 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 I can't because it's being used by someone else. Ah, dang. See, mine's gone too. Boo. But the point is, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how far into development the build is, if it's almost ready, if it's rough, if there's stuff like that. But uh, it's a full build and people can play it from start to finish. So even if it's not like indicative of how it's actually going to play and it's the PS4 version and all this type of stuff, um, it is going to uh, cause uh, significant story spoiler leaks to be out there pretty fucking early. So if you're really invested and you really care about the Horizon Forbidden West story, make sure you start muting those words on social media because it is 100% out there already. Yeah. And, it, and it's early. Like Nintendo ge- games leak oh a week God. or two before. This is like weeks upon week. Like this is more than a month. That's almost a month. Yeah, more than a month. Than a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. it's crazy. So be careful out there, y'all, because um, the for- Forbidden West story is out there in full, for sure. Keep it forbidden. Keep it forbidden. Keep it West. West, West. Yeah. Uh, Adam right. West. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, moving on from that, an interesting patent was filed uh, by Sony Interactive Entertainment LLC. Credited to one Mark Evan Cerny and David Simpson, uh, Cerny lead architect on one device known as the PS5, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. filed a patent 
for backwards compatibility through use of spoof clock and fine grain frequency control. Whatever the fuck that means, but I do understand backwards compatibility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it looks like they're filing a patent for a potential uh, PS5 upgrade that might uh, be revolutionary. Revolutionary might uh, bring backwards compatibility backwards compatibility back into the conversation let's go dude hell yeah think, i want to yeah let's go i want to yeah. put my ps2 games in there you want to pop some <laughs> ps2 discs up in that bitch and see what's good yeah dude hell yeah dude, dude, I'm like, my that's... cat screams so i keep like disappearing like, i know like... you, you're, it takes your whole face <laughs> that or your daywalker powers are returning i think they might be a little bit. It Anyways. is. The se- it is. Tis the season. Tis is. Tis is the season. To suck on necks, I suppose. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I, I'm. I'm super excited to see what, if anything, comes from this. You know, we see patents come and go all the time without anything actually necessarily coming from them. So hopefully, this isn't one of those situations, and we actually uh, get to see what what what's good with this patent and see it uh, come to life, and maybe we can. Pop some old dicks discs up into these. Oh, new drives. all right. What? Yeah. Did I say dicks? You did. Say, you oh, did. okay. It's all good. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of dicks. Ain't nothing wrong. That was just funny. You pop pop all them right. right in. <laughs> this this uh, episode has gone off the rails. This episode, uh, like, it started <laughs> off the rails, bro. There, there have been no rails. On this episode, sir. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, Anyways. Kirby, Eric, got a release date. The new Kirby uh Forgotten Land uh soars onto the Nintendo Switch on March 25th, 2022. So not that far off. They also released another about a, uh, about a two-minute trailer, minute 40 seconds, uh showing off gameplay, uh like the level structure and everything like that. And it's not fully open world, it looks to be like uh just like uh 2d 3d like uh mario 3d land 3d world levels type of thing yeah that's kind of what it looks like um it looks really fucking fun though i will say that compared to like so i i've been a big fan of kirby like i like the older kirby games because they actually pose some semblance of a challenge yeah like kirby star allies that came out in 2017 2018 i don't know when it came out that shit was like three hours long and was like a child's game Mm. so like i had fallen off of kirby like in that sense um they had some cool ones on the ds like planet robobot but uh i like kirby games every now and then and this one she is shaping up to uh be a dope one from the looks of it you know what i mean yeah you're you, gonna, there's... You, you're gonna cop kirby uh i might cop it only because of that last shot in there with uh meta knight in it yeah is meta knight your boy or what meta knight's that was my main back in melee remember that was your fucking annoying ass main yes so uh yeah that's pretty that's pretty interesting you know why else you know what else we should make you cop it we can play through the entire game in co-op oh okay we can play it together yeah one one plays as kirby the other plays as bandana waddle d bandana waddle d yeah he's a special waddle d that wears a bandana and carries a spear and he's a homie Hell yeah. Let's do it. You not know Kirby Lord, bro? I do not know Kirby Lord, dude. What? Yeah, there's Kirby Lord, and it's good. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to round off today's episode with a discussion on the Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay preview that was released earlier today, Eric, 13 minutes long, in which we watched uh, before starting the podcast. And... Um, I'll ask you first. What do you think after 13 minutes, dude, of them breaking down what, how this is gonna work? They freaking nailed it. Yeah, they nailed it. At that, fucking speak on it. It's like it looks like every Pokemon game ever, like in one. It. With Breath of the Wild on top of it, because you have to fucking craft and use recipes and like build shit. There's side quests, there's crafting, there's, there's boss battles. Honest 
to God side quests, y'all, like in Pokemon, where you have to talk to an NPC, go do some fucking trivial bullshit, like kill five of the same thing, and then come back, and then come back, and you know what? I wanted that for so long, as stupid as that fucking sounds. It makes it a real... It makes it like a legit RPG. It's I mean, like it's a fully RPG, fleshed out RPG. But this is like yes. an RPG now. There's fucking like dope. Like, not only is there boss battles, but there's alpha Pokemon, which are like just tougher Pokemon in general out there that you can catch, which are stronger. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. Then there are, like you said, just straight up fucking boss battles, which look it, honestly insane. Like, they have like, like an opening cutscene and like a big old name like guardian of the forest and then the name of the pokemon and shit like a fucking zelda game then you have to like work on a strategy to whittle these guys down enough to even get a pokemon out there to To attempt to catch it to attempt to fight it and then it breaks out and you have to calm it down again with these bombs and it's crazy bro it's crazy dude you can just straight up like distract pokemon with like berries and like snipe them into a pokeball without even having to battle them like it's like a fully open ended, like full, like interact. Like mm-hmm. they fucking mm-hmm. did it, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even care if it's like not as much as people wanted, or like if it's like baby steps, but it's something different, anything different from the formula. And I think like it's completely different. And get this, your character is actually in it, like. You have a health bar. Yes, so it's, you have to dodge. Po- you have to dodge Pokemon attacks. You have to watch your health bar, and if you get knocked out, you lose resources. You lose money. All this shit. Like, I know this. This has been. This game looks wild. Like, it's, it's our dreams come true, man. We've ever wanted, bro. It's our dreams come true. <clears throat> I hope this game sells 57 million copies. So the Pokemon company is just like, shut it all down. Make only Legends games from now on. Like, bro, I need this to be the norm going forward. Yeah, this is going to be. But see, the thing is, they did, they, they planned for this, man. You know why they planned for this? Because now they have history of this area. Now they're going to go into the history of, like, old Kanto. And they can go into, like, the history of old Johto. You know what I mean? Like, dude. So now they have the mainline series. The Let's Go series for, like, younger kids and shit. And then you have the Legends Arceus one, which is honestly looks like it's a Pokemon game, but, like, it looks like there's some semblance of a challenge in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for real. You just have to learn something new. You have to like learn Pokemon attack patterns to dodge them. Like figure have, out what bro, you need. Go find the things oh, to that's craft. Not even and... mentioning the changes to the battle system because it's still like the four moves, but there's an agile style and a strong style. Oh which, like, yeah, there's a whole so, like, other like level to it. Yeah, it's kind of like there's a more depth. De- it's like a bravely default type of thing where like you can like. Do an extra strong attack, but skip a turn, or do like a quick attack to like attack multiple times. Like it's there's depth, depth, depth to the Pokemon battle system, y'all. It's crazy. What a time are, to be alive! Like, absolutely, like we're like geeked on this. If you guys can't fucking what a tell. time like, to be alive! Fucking blown away. Like it's like two weeks away, and I'm just like, give it to me now. Like why couldn't it drop? Like right now, while I have the whole it's fucking too, wait, month hold up. Off, it's bro. two weeks away. Yeah, it drops on January 29th, bro. Dude, that's like around the corner. January 29th or some shit. Oh Let me God, skip dude. to the end of this video to, just to confirm. But it's like soon, bro. January 28th, even sooner. Even sooner. Dude. Literally two weeks from today. Two weeks from today when we are recording this. Bro, there is. Too many games coming out at the same time. Elden Ring, the Destiny expansion, Arceus. I don't give a flying fuck. Let's go. Uh, Let's not go. any of them but Arceus right now, dude. The, 
Uh, I couldn't just drop during my month off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I luckily have an extra day in February to take. They said beginning of February. Maybe I won't start, like, right on February 1st. Maybe I'll still have a few days and, like, I'll just fucking, like, live on stream. I'll do, like, a fucking... 148 hour stream where I just play through the whole thing or something. Hell yeah. Fuck, man. I'm so excited for this fucking game. This trailer really put, put it over the top for me. Yeah, Ooh. dude. It's exciting. <laughs> but yeah, Good man. man. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Deep breath. <laughs> Usa. Usa. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Everything looks tweaked everything looks different everything looks exciting and fresh and new and i'm i can't wait to check it out man same but yeah that's pretty much gonna do it for us here on the podcast thank you so much for joining us thank you so much for listening thank you for putting up with our shenanigans this episode yeah this this this, is this this, this one got off the rails very fast (laughs) this is a little wild today yeah it's all good though i I think it was i I like i like the funny ones where we go where we go a little crazy but uh, yeah, if you made it this far, you are a true Hisuian Pokemon master and you fucking dodge roll Ursa rings like a beast. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to find me on the internet, you can find me at Knife Life OSC. Uh, check out my other podcast, Eight Hour Chat. Um, always a good time there. Uh, no longer co workers. So it's no longer technically cramming eight hours of work chat on there, but we still have a good time on there every week. Uh, and follow me on Twitch at Knife Life Lost, Knife Life OSC. I've recently started up streaming on Twitch as opposed to YouTube to try that out for a while. Been playing Tales yeah. of Arise on there and it's been going pretty well. So uh, give me a follow out on, on there uh, if you want to find Eric on the internet. If you want to find me on the internet and talk about Warren Berry quests, you can find me as Erky Plays everywhere. If you want to find us together and cry in the Halo 3 menu because the servers are shut down, uh, you can find us at the Podboys Advance Twitter at Podboys Advance. Make sure you join the Discord, submit a question to be featured in an episode. I did a bad job this week and did not check, but I don't think we had one, right? I did a horrible job too. Nope. Last one was like for Christmas, so we're good on okay. that. Uh, make sure you submit a question to be featured in an episode. Um, and until next time, my name is Oscar. And I'm Eric. And we've been the Pod Boys Advance. We will see you guys next time. Later. See ya. Don't eat the apple pie. Unless it's a Tails. No, don't eat, don't eat the apple pie. It's, oh, okay, Tails recipes. I, I, I choked. Uh, Bye.